girl D and I'm back with another video for y'all. Again. <laughs> nah, but for real. Hey y'all, she got to be back with another video for y'all. Period. Before we get into this video, make sure you guys go like, comment, subscribe. And do all the other stuff I'm going to give y'all a time. I'm going to give y'all a minute. Ready? <laughs> I know the girls got me, the guys got me, y'all got me per, okay, period. So, from the side of this video, we're going to do a little college horror story. Um, more of this whole thing is to really pick and choose wisely who you decide to live with in college or just period. Just pick and choose who you decide to live with very, very, very wisely okay disclaimer for this disclaimer this is not to bash anybody this is not to you know none of that um i was just in the friend group you know this happened in our friend group however i am not um i'm like the key person in this but this happened in our friend group so i will be telling it from the perspective of myself and yeah but yeah, y'all, this is not to bash nobody. This is not to make anybody look bad. Well, this ain't to bash nobody. We just gonna, we just gonna keep it as that. Okay. So this was in my freshman year of college, and I'm saying it like I'm so old, girl. I'm just a sophomore, but this is our freshman year. This is like the first semester, literally the first semester. We didn't even get to the second. Okay. So the first semester, actually, we're going to, I'm going to go give you guys a little background before I start the story, just to like, let you guys know, like how I met the, how I met them and just how I came into the whole circle. So basically, there was three, well, four of us, myself, and then we going to call the boy, we going to call him Jason, and then we going to call one of the girls, Alyssa, and then another girl, Veronica. I don't know why I just came up with those names. I don't know. But yeah, we're going to do Jason, Alyssa, and what I say? Veronica. That's what I say. And if it's not what I say, we do it Veronica now. So basically, I met them at orientation. Um, For orientation, it was during the summertime. So I think it was for two days. Like, you stayed overnight for a day and you left the next day. So, um, yeah, I was like i didn't really know anybody at all they knew each other they were from like the same hometown and stuff like that so they were kind of acquainted with each other and stuff like that so they were cool and i was just by myself so i just had my airpods and i was on my phone you know doing me because that's what i do when i don't really know anybody so basically like we had to go with our groups and tour and just sit in these meetings and then we all had like lunch so yeah we went to the dining hall and i was sitting by myself and then i seen jason he was walking by he was like oh you can come sit over here with us if you want and i'm like okay so i told who i was on the phone with i think i forgot i forgot who i was on the phone with but i told him i was like all right i'm gonna call you guys back and yeah i'm gonna call you back so then i go sit with them i go sit with the rest of them and they you know they were cool they were cool we were just talking like getting to know each other and you know me and jason we bonded we're like oh he's like you smoke hookah girl i smoke hookah girl you drink yes i do and yeah so we just bonded so ever since then like we really became cool so then fast forward um a few weeks later when we go to school i text all of them because we did make a group chat we made a group chat like before we left just so like everybody could keep in contact so when i got there when everybody got there you know they texted in the group chat and i was like oh i'm coming this day but they were coming the day before me so i'm like oh i'll be there the next day okay cool so literally like when i got there put my stuff down went the next day and we were just all cool like through the first couple weeks of the semester like we would you know go to the library well actually yeah we go to the library go to the lounge but either way we did like our schoolwork we made sure our schoolwork was intact and honestly yeah so another background thing is that 
Alyssa and Veronica, they were roommates. They were going to room together. And the way that everything went down was that they were going to room together and they were in the same dorm as Jason, but Jason was a few floors down. And I lived all the way across campus, so I would just stay over there at their dorm and sit like the whole day into the last bus, which is at like 7.40 or 7.50, and then I would take that back to my room and do the same thing all over again. So yeah, that's really how it went down. So they was roommates. So yeah. But anyway, we would like go to the lounge, go to like different things, go to different places just to do our school or just to chill, just to hang out. Right? Just to hang out. Then on the weekends, we would do our little leisure things. We would like, uh, you know, they would smoke, we would drink, we would just chill and stuff like that. So prior to the story that I'm about to tell, prior to like the biggest thing that I'm going to tell you guys, um jason and Alyssa, they would always smoke well and veronica too but jason and Alyssa, they would always buy you know buy weed for their habit you know what i'm saying they will buy it and then just because they were friends they would share with veronica and stuff like that but then they noticed it became a habit like it became like an ongoing pattern that she would never like buy any like veronica would never buy any so it just became a habit of just jason and Alyssa doing it and so they just like found it kind of like weird so they did bring it up to her and i kind of forgot what was said because it was a whole bunch of nonsense i don't know like but they brought it up to her maybe twice and at that point Alyssa was kind of fed because she would always tell us like like that's weird and it's just like when you're friends you know that's okay to like share with your friends because y'all are friends but when you notice it and it starts to bother you that it's becoming a pattern and then you bring it up to your friend and they try to make it seem like you're crazy that's weird you know what i'm saying that's weird so remember that that's weird so yeah and that's like a pattern with her like we used to do all these things we used to do like you know, we used to like really, we used to invite her out with us, go to the lounge. She never wanted to come. She was tired. She, whatever, whatever, whatever. We didn't put a past her. We're like, okay, that's cool. You know, we just go to the lounge, do homework, go to the library, do homework. But if you don't want to come, that's cool. But if you want to come, we'll be downstairs in the lounge. Okay, she would never want to come, whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So, that's, that's the first thing. So now. This all started, this all started when we went to this party that was off campus. It was a house party off campus, right? So usually when we do that, we would take an Uber like to the party and then back to, from the party. So basically like what had happened was, um, people from their hometown was in like was at our school so my bad y'all my phone was talking about they didn't have no storage but anyway yeah so people from their hometown was at our school for the weekend so we was gonna like get in the car with them but it was kind of a lot of them in the car so we really couldn't fit so somehow we ended up getting to the party i believe we took a uber i'm not really sure but i believe we did take a uber there um but yeah, so we ended up getting to the party. And when I tell you guys, like, this party it was crumped. Like, it was crumped. It was body to body. It was like this. Zona, you're gonna get nasty. Put your life out. No, but for real. It was body to body in there. But before we could even get in, the line outside was crazy. Like, the line outside was crazy. Like, they was trying to, like... I don't know. It was crazy until somebody opened the side door. Then we all just went in the side door. But when we got in there, it was crumped. But you know what? It was fun for a little bit, though, because it was fun for a little bit. But at one ounce a second, because it was like I didn't know them, like the people from 
their hometown but like i kind of knew them because they used to come they would come to our school sometimes they would come up to our school sometimes so i knew them a little bit so it was fun we was all together we was having a good time it was like oops 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 but it wasn't really like oops 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 but it was real cool we was having fun for a little bit it was like a split second i swear it was like a split second and then all of a sudden you hear somebody So then they're going to be somebody banged it. And then you hear, ooh, ooh, ooh. So now the police, the ambulance is coming. The ambulance is coming. So now we're like, oh my God, okay, time to go, time to go. We looking around. We cannot find Alyssa. We cannot find Alyssa. Mind you, we think, we thought she was right next to us because it was body to body. It was body to body. There's no way. We're like, there's no way she could have gotten far because it's so crumped in here. Like, you could barely breathe in there. Okay? Like, you had to put your breathing on manual. <sighs> so, we're like, oh my God, we can't find her. And then, that's when people are like, I heard it was Alyssa who fainted. It was Alyssa who fainted. So, now we're like, don't say that too loud so now we trying to now we're moving we're zooming past people excuse me excuse me we're pushing past people not even saying excuse me no more we pushing we pushing past people okay we get outside and the ambulance is there they put in an ambulance so me and um jason we like well can we get in the ambulance with her because you know we just go to school out here she don't got no family out here you know like can we get in they're like no you gotta meet us at the hospital we go to school in a little town okay a little town the, the hospital was in the next town over was in one of the towns that was right next to it so we're like oh my god and you know y'all know how it is when it be the broke college students y'all know how it is so at this time me jason and veronica our phones are like kind of dying like my phone's on but the street we was on was like a little it was in the cut like in the woods barely any cell service barely any cell service so like we're trying to like find a way back to the dorms to get an uber or we're just trying to get an uber to the hospital right so at this time um my lift i only had lift at the time and there's not too many lifts in Amherst and especially at night you're not gonna find one and um Jason's uber account was disabled due to like his prior like he had something prior to that so it was disabled at the time so we asked Veronica like oh like could we use like let's use your uber account we gonna pitch in for the uber like you're not paying for it all by yourself of course you know what I'm saying we just need to use your account because we just can't use ours and she was just acting real funny about it she's like oh I don't know like she was just acting real funny about the whole situation but at that time, we just left it alone because we were just trying to, like, make sure that we got a way. We were trying to make sure and figure out how we was going to make sure our phone was okay. So, basically, after, like, 45 minutes, 30 minutes or something like that, we end up squeezing in this Uber that one of the Ubers that came for somebody else, he let us squeeze in there. And on the way back, Veronica starts saying, oh, I don't know if I want to go. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I want to go. And me and Jason, we started getting really aggravated. Like, we started looking at each other like, girl, what? And so Jason's like, if you don't want to go, just say that. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you know, that's your friend. Like, that's your roommate and your friend. You should make sure that, sh that your friend is okay like i don't understand that he's like but that's fine because you've been acting funny about this whole thing and when she wakes up we're gonna let her know because that's funny and i really do agree with that because i feel like that's just a friend that i am you know what i'm saying like if i hang with you all the time and whether or not your parents or your family's around or not i'm gonna make sure that you're okay if something like this happens because if it was me i would want my friends to make sure i'm okay so i just felt like that was really funny on her part and it was just really weird so then we go to um we get back to the dorms and now we're in the lobby wait i forgot to i forgot to tell 
I forgot to tell y'all. This is, I shouldn't have been that excited, but I hate when I forget stuff. I forgot to tell y'all. So basically, while we were on the way back, we told each other like, oh, you know, we're not going to say it was Alyssa. We're not going to say it was her because the type of person that Alyssa is, she don't like her business to be out there. And plus, it's just like nobody wants their business to be out there for the whole campus to hear like oh did y'all know it was Alyssa that that you know that's in that like that's so embarrassing and you know I wouldn't want that happen to me so we're not gonna do that to her period so then why do me and Jason here Veronica telling her friend oh my god that was Alyssa at that party oh my god and we're like why would you say that and she's like oh I was panicking I didn't know what to do girl keep your mouth shut next time Okay, keep your mouth shut next time. Okay, like, girl, shh, 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 shh. keep your mouth shut. So that was another thing that just, like, really kind of rubbed us the wrong way. It was, like, kind of weird. So then we get back to the dorms. Um, We get back to the dorms, and we were supposed to, like, go get charged, like, get a charge from upstairs. But honestly, that really slipped our brain because, like, we really are trying to make sure that our friend is okay. So, like we're in the lobby and a, a lot of you was in the lobby now because again i told y'all this party was body to body so there was everybody in there so the party got shut down everybody went back to the dorms at the same time so everybody's in the lobby still so we see these girls that um that we kind of know um veronica knows them more than we do and so we asked one of the girls can we use her uber account we're gonna send her the money and she was like yeah and so for that reason we did like we was like we need to go to the hospital so she didn't know because she got us the uber you know what i'm saying she didn't know she knew that Alyssa was the only other person to hang out with us so then yeah she knew and she got it for us and stuff like that she said make sure she's okay i hope she's okay and yeah so she got it for us so then even still while we're waiting for the uber veronica's still talking about oh i don't know if i want to go like i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know and we're like well girl stay here then because you're annoying stay here then stay stay here okay then stay here because like honestly truly it's really weird because if it was you we would all have came and Alyssa would have came too so don't do that you know then stay here if you don't want to go like that so i guess like us saying that to her made her feel bad i guess so she did get in an uber anyway so after like 25 minutes of us being in the Uber, we finally get to the hospital. And when we get to the hospital, we in the waiting room. And we ask, of, we ask for Alyssa. We're like, oh, my friend, we just had, she was just had transported here. And Alyssa, da, da, da. she's like, yeah, she is like sleeping right now. And we do, we do, we do. So we were in the waiting room. We got there like one, y'all. Y'all will never guess how long we was in that waiting room please guess i'm gonna give y'all a second to guess okay we was in the waiting room until like 7 a.m mind you our phones was already dying at the party so me and jason's phone just died at, at a time it dies because all that trying to get the uber and send the money and doing all that the phone died so now the only person with a phone is Veronica and her phone is kind of charged, it's probably like halfway charged and we're telling her like, um, you know, it's your phone, do what you want. Of course, do what you want, but like try not to, you know, use it all because we don't know how long we're going to be in this waiting room. And she was just like, okay, but she just still had an attitude the whole time. Like she had a attitude and me and Jason's like, what's her problem? Like, girl, what's her problem? Like, if she didn't want to come, she really didn't have to. Like, nobody was trying to guilt trip her into doing anything. It was just, we were just telling her, like, that's just a common courtesy thing to do for somebody that you claim is your friend, that you hang out with every single day. Someone that you wake up to and go to sleep to. Y'all sleep in the same room. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe everybody's not brought up the same way. I, I don't know. But that's the way I was brought up. Like, you never go somewhere with your friend and leave without them so you know like that's just the way that it went for me i went to this party with Alyssa, and if i'm not going home to the dorms to sleep and Alyssa's not in her dorm to sleep then that's not where i'm at period that's just how i was brought up so 
she just had a big ass attitude for no reason so okay cool but that night like as we was like in the waiting room the nurses did give us blankets and stuff like that and we did see other people like in the waiting room like we met other people we met this one lady she let us use our fish our charger for a little bit um so our phones was charged a little bit like i mean like 10 percent because it was me and jason's phone so we took turns so we had 10 percent and then yeah but i just want to make sure my phone was charged because if my mom called my phone and i didn't answer in whatever time in the morning and she kept calling and i still didn't answer I, she would have sent a missing persons alert she would have sent an amber alert i don't even play like that and I didn't even get to tell her like I was going to the hospital for Alyssa because my phone died so I'm like oh my god like oh my god but then we end up falling asleep so we end up getting woken up at like 7 maybe 7 30 saying that she's awake and she's like getting her stuff together then she comes out finally she comes out we're getting our stuff ready we're like oh Alyssa you okay like oh my god are you okay and the hospital they send over a van that would take us back to the dorms and it was free just because i think that's like what they do um so it was free so while we're in the van like we're like you know we're chilling um we didn't bring up anything about the night before just because she just woke up and yeah so the lady who was driving dropped them off to their dorm and then i asked her could she drop me off because i lived all the way across the campus and so she's like yeah of course so we get back to camp for like 8 maybe 8 30 and took a nap got up took a shower i called them i'm like oh what y'all doing they're like nothing come over i'm like okay i'm about to walk over there hold on let me put my phone on the charger because i think my phone's gonna die so yeah they tell me to walk over there so i did and yeah so because it was like a sunday so the bus was just kind of weird so i walked over there it was like a 20 minute walk and then when i did that i'm like oh like you guys want to go get food because i'm starving they're like yeah yeah of course so um i'm in jason's room when i say that so then i go we go upstairs to um Alyssa and veronica's room like oh you guys want to go get food mind you before we told veronica we're gonna tell her when she wakes up what happened the night before because i don't like funny behavior i don't like when people act funny behind my back especially when i'm not there to defend myself i don't like that at all so yes i was gonna tell my friend so yeah um she said veronica said no i'm not gonna I'm, i don't want to go Alyssa's like yeah i want to go i'm starving so i'm like okay cool so we go to the dining hall and then me and jason started telling Alyssa what happened the night before we're like you don't remember nothing from the night before she's like no and she didn't have her phone she didn't have anything she didn't have anything so we start telling her everything that happened the night before everything that we noticed everything everything every everything and she was just like she just was upset kind of she was upset about the whole situation just upset about the whole party just upset about the whole situation which i would be too like i would be upset like wow like i cannot believe that just happened now everybody's like you know whatever when i tell y'all we go back to the dorms we go back to the dorms and <clears throat> and um jason goes to his room and Alyssa asks me to go to her room with her to go grab something and i'm like okay cool so we walk upstairs and as soon as we walk in i walk in sit down on the chair that's in their room as soon as Alyssa walks in she goes veronica we need to have a talk because i heard you was being funny and i said oh my god she what she did it with the walk in let me show y'all what she did let me show y'all what she did she did this oh my computer she said, Veronica, we need to have a talk because I heard you was being funny. I said, oh, oh. And one thing about Alyssa is she don't hold her tongue for nobody. She don't hold her tongue for nobody at all. She don't hold it. So then, yeah, I'm going to just insert the clip. I'm going to insert the clip so y'all can listen to it because it's kind of long. Yeah, I'm going to insert the clip if I have oh. it. 
So go to the hospital and tell you look for you. I was asking everybody where you were. What did no, I do? You didn't even want to go to the hospital. What did you say? I didn't want to go. I'm saying that I didn't know if it was the best thing to do was to go to the hospital and sit there. That's what Natalia was saying. Hey, well, now I'm going yeah, to I'm gonna let you know I didn't that. know if I was going to go in the morning or that's. But either way, I still went because I was like, you know what? That's the best thing to do. Like, I don't. You're at the, you're coming like off like coming over here. I don't even know if you guys went to the dinner to go talk about it and they're telling you stuff that happened. That's not what it is. But if and I just for you to come like you that, it's like me. I I did something like what? Because you did. You were being a fake ass bitch. The whole How was time I being time. a fake I'm, ass bitch? That's why I'm telling you. Just let me know what happened. Explain yourself. Like, tell that's me exactly what I'm telling you. So right you now. was telling Eva you didn't want to come to the hospital. You that's didn't want to be there. I, I didn't want to be there. And it doesn't even matter. matter. You, you were you were telling Eva. Why are you telling? It's not that I wasn't telling Eva. She was asking you, Camille. I didn't tell. I didn't tell Camille. Camille didn't say, "Oh, make sure she's okay." No. Check my phone right now. When she, she got the Uber for you, she wasn't like, oh, make no, sure. No, I really said that. And she didn't know I was in the ambulance? No. How about Eva? Or any of them? Right? I told Eva because Eva was asking me what was going and on. And I, I was panicking and I didn't know what to say. So I told Eva, I said, Jedi, then, um, Liam was I like, just passed Liam was like, don't say your name. I was like, oh, okay, let, me, let me stop saying that. But I was panicking for you. Like, you think I'm over calling me a fake ass bitch? Like, that is so, like. That is Because that's the vibe. That's low? Yes. You acting low. like that in the situation is How low. am I acting Don't try to flip the on me and try to be like, oh, no, they were so low and trying to make me feel wrong? guilty. Because I do not people. feel guilty at all. What I do feel bad about is that I'm over here. I was I was open to being your friend since we started this roommate situation. But you've been being fake, selfish, and doing a whole bunch How of shit. Like, this is the selfish. second time that I'm like confronting you about something. Like, we shouldn't have to no, what, do this. Because I just don't. What did I do that is so like you're feeling so type of way? Because in every, you're a selfish in ass situation. person, Brittany. How am I so for you to do that to me yesterday, what did that I was do? just open my what eyes to I, see the type of person you are. And I, I got do? everything that I needed. What did I do? Period. You're not even I'm all done with you. All set with you. What? That's how you're going to do it. Basically, it was telling, it was talking about, she was just saying, oh, like you're fake and you're this and you're that. They're going back and forth about it. And they kind of left it how it is. So then we left, and I go back. We go back to Jason's dorm, and I started telling him about it, and I let him listen to the video. We're talking about it, and I'm just like, she. I was laughing because of the way she walked in and said that. Like you really wasted no time. Like you wasted no time to do that. And I was just like, wow. But yeah. So then, as the night went on. Um, it got closer to like around like seven something. So I took the bus back to my dorm. And then a few hours later, I get a phone call. I get a phone call from Jason saying, Alyssa just beat up Veronica. What did he say? That's literally in my head. I said, what did he say? I'm like, what? She said, Alyssa just beat up Veronica. And then he starts telling me the story. So I'm going to tell y'all the story the way that he told me the story. So, period. I don't know what that just was, but let's just, yeah. So basically, he said that they were... Um, y'all, it's really crazy because I left this part out. I forgot about it. Um, I was just looking through my messages. And basically, Jason sent me sent in the group chat um sent something in the group chat. i'm gonna insert the message right here but he sent the group chat like i have a feeling um uh Alyssa's doing something because she was supposed to come back to my room so i'm gonna insert that i forgot to tell you that so just keep that in mind and look at the screenshot that i'm gonna put on the screen as the story goes on and um yeah they were smoking and long story short she goes up to her room for something and says she's gonna come back down and call him he says she was taking a long time to come back down and she knew she, and right as he was about to call her she comes downstairs knocks on his door knocks on his door and looks crazy her hair looks crazy Alyssa's hair looks a mess she has something in her hand and she says I just beat up Veronica and it's hair in her hand oh my god and he was like oh my god 
so then she while i'm on the phone she starts telling both of us the story of how it happened so she says she walked in and oh i'm sorry y'all i'm sorry y'all so while we're at the dining hall while we're at the dining hall um one of the one of their people that they moved from you know their hometown was like was with some boy and was like oh um like how like you know what happened last night like what happened last night and so we're like kind of like not saying much about it we're not saying much, much about it until you know jason tells the girl but the boy wasn't really listening the boy was from the whole town too but he does go to our school and she goes to our school too but yeah so yeah that and then one of this other girl who be who used to be with us but then she wasn't with us i don't know i didn't give her a name because it don't really matter so she comes to tell Alyssa, oh um so-and-so knows about it i think veronica told so-and-so so-and-so is the boy that the other girl was with so then that just sent Alyssa on a rampage so that's why she went down there and said what she said to veronica and they ended up fighting they ended up fighting so yeah back to the thing so she, um Alyssa says she walked in the door and asked Veronica why are you telling people my business why are you still talking about me I thought I told you to get my name off your mouth and Veronica was like I didn't say nothing to nobody they start going back and forth about it Alyssa said Veronica got up and acted like she wanted to fight so then they started fighting they started brawling I guess so they did um Alyssa did say that veronica said something about she's going to jail or something like that so yeah she's down you know now Alyssa's in the um Alyssa is in jason's room and um yeah Alyssa's in jason's room now while she's telling me the story on the phone and next thing you know um yeah next thing you know there's a knock on the door there's a knock actually no barely a knock next thing you know veronica's cousin comes busting in jason's door veronica's cousin and um the cousin's friend that goes to our school both of them go to our school they come busting in jason's door like oh you put your hands on my cousin you put your hands on my cousin and they're thinking that they're trying to phase somebody they're thinking that they're trying to scare um, Alyssa or something or somebody they think they're trying to scare Alyssa and Alyssa's not having it so they're screaming now Alyssa's screaming Alyssa's screaming now she's screaming too and um yeah they're going back and forth back and forth back and forth and Alyssa's like well maybe she shouldn't have been talking about me and woo -doo -woo -doo -woo -doo -woo. and the cousin's like well she wasn't saying anything she didn't say nothing to that boy she didn't say nothing to him then next thing you know they get up the cousin and the friend get up and go we're gonna handle this another way and then she gets a phone call and on her phone says something about auntie something so that was veronica's mother right they leave a few more minutes go by another knock comes at the door guess who it is the police campus police is at the door saying is Alyssa here now Jason's like mm. so he goes one second sets the door and she he goes uh, Melissa they're looking for you and she's like tell them I'm asleep he was like no she goes tell them I'm not here I'm and he's like they know you're here them girls just left the room they told them you was in here they know you in here so you might as well just go so she goes they start asking her questions and they start doing all of this mess long story short what had to happen was Alyssa had to move out um Alyssa had to move out and Mind you, in the midst of all this, her peoples did not know about it. Her peoples didn't know nothing that was going on. Like, none of her family knew what was going on. 
um they did end up finding out unfortunate well fortunately but unfortunately they did end up finding out but for a minute she, she did have to like she had to move out they had to like have a meeting they had multiple meetings they had to like have a meeting with the chancellor and do all this stuff and for a minute she was staying at my dorm like because i went home for the weekend so she was staying at my dorm you know my roommate was very understanding my roommate did let her stay there and stuff like that um they cut off her her campus card like she really didn't do much and it resulted in her being kicked out for a year um and that's crazy that's crazy like it's really crazy she was kicked out for a year she had to move out it was really it was really sad it was really sad like it started with four of us and it ended with two of us me and jason because veronica's weird she's a weirdo like she she's a weirdo like she started you know moving weird being shady like i don't know she was being shady towards first of all even before this whole situation was happening she was being shady anyway and i don't really like that you know what i'm saying because i didn't really do nothing to her i didn't bother her so the whole um weed situation had nothing to do with me so the fact that she was being shady was weird i don't know i don't know i don't know how long this story is but honestly more of the story is just really choose who you choose to be around especially in college because your freshman year will literally show you like it will show you who your friends are okay the mm -hmm. people that you make your orientation they be cool and whatnot but the first few weeks and first few months of college will really like test you really test y'all and that will show who the real is and who got to go you know and just be careful who you choose to live with that's really what it is be careful be careful be careful be careful i did random selection and it was cool for me i ain't never had no um college horror roommate story i don't know and i hope i never do but it was real cool for me but yeah i hope you guys enjoy watching this this story is not a good story at all it's actually kind of sad but it actually makes me mad but i hope you guys did enjoy watching this video and make sure you guys go like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video